Yes. Yet, uh, Sam, I have in my hand uh, 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 Ghana's Public Order Act. Mm. And in the Public Order Act, section 2, section 1, subsection 5, 6, have this to say. Uh, an organizer requested under subsection 4 to postpone or relocate the holding of a special event shall within 48 hours of the request notify the police officer in writing of his willingness to comply. Of his willingness to comply. Six is the effect that where the organizers refuse to comply with the request under subsection 4, or fail to notify the police officer in accordance with subsection 5, the police officer may apply to any judge or a chairman of a tribunal for an order to prohibit the holding of the special event on the proposed date or at the proposed location. Now, the issue that has scandalized the conscience of the nation is in respect of where the event was held and the attendant consequences. I think as a nation, we need to be more tolerant of protesters. Because public protest is such a characteristic of mature democracies. I have seen protests where, like you mentioned, they burn ties, they set fire to wood, and other things. But the police who are clothed by you and I with special apparatus, including bulletproof, bulletproof helmets, batons, guns, and above all, bulletproof crowd control accoutrement are not supposed to descend on the protesters heavily. What I've seen done in places is that they're moving and stop maybe fire from uh, being, 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 uh, being set to materials on the road. They quench it. I've seen wood, lock, being moved onto roads. What I expected the police to do is to move the wood, the wood lock back. This confrontation and this footage has gone viral. It's so needless. No, in, in crowd control, as it's taught in security courses, the police could have done better with this matter. Now, regarding the, 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 the remand in custody of the persons who were arrested, I think, again, our courts have become too willing, too quickly, in condoning these applications before the courts. We have some judges who have become regime-supporting, freedom-denying, rights-suppressing, people sitting on the bench. When an application of this nature comes, with all due respect to, to members of the bench, some judges refuse to weigh the application on its merits. A prosecutor is urging the court to remand a protester, a supposed protester, in, in, in police custody for two additional weeks. Police and prison custody. Yes for two additional weeks. And they, and they merely state that on grounds that the person may interfere with police investigations. What they said they are investigating. Yes. <laughs> no, on grounds that if the person is granted bail or admitted to bail on stated terms to be determined by the court, mm. he, has the, he, has the ten, he has the potential mm. to interfere with police investigations. And I don't see how that is even reasonable. Okay. When, for instance, we could have urged on the court that, in fact, the court should order that the person reports to the police every day, for instance. How does the coming to the police station to report amounts to an interference? Mm. But these are regular things that we see. 
And I think that it is time our judiciary gauge the mood of the people when, when things like this arise. All right. And side with the people. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gary, th there's, there's a young man, I understand his name is Benjamin Akufodako. He's the one that apparently was uh, supplying papaya food <laughs> to these people. And he's the one who took food to Oliver Bakavomawo after he, I'm told, he regained consciousness in the hospital. And he took the food there and he got arrested too. There are people who are said to have been picked up and they didn't know why, why they were picked up. They are all spending two weeks in, in prison and cell, uh, police custody. What do you say to that well, as a lawyer? Uh, Samson, uh, Samson uh, thank you very much for the question. Uh, as a matter of fact, if it's a demonstration and you are not part of the demonstrators and you are arrested in the court of the demonstration, that one I think should be deprecated. Now, everybody in Ghana has a right to demonstrate. Right to free expression, right to freedom of speech, and to demonstrate. But you see, we need to be very careful here. The right to demonstrate, the right to assemble, to show your dissent, it's affection to what is going on, it ought to be lawful. The assembly ought to be lawful. Now, the fact that you have the right to assemble and demonstrate something does not mean that you have the right to uh, assemble and then cause damage to public property or to disturb public property or to obstruct people's uh, right to movement and access. Look, the same law that my brother just gave, gave me, 33 of the law, that is uh, Act, Act uh, 491, Public Order Act. It's Public Order Act. It's a responsibility of organizers and other persons. Yeah. Section 31. Where at any special event, any damage is caused to public property, the organizers or any other persons found to have been responsible for the damage caused shall be liable to pay for the cost of the damage. I don't think that is in doubt. Anybody yeah. has any qualms with that? No. Mm. Why would you assemble and then you go and start destroying? public property. You see somebody going to remove a, a, a car, a key from a, a, police, a, police, a police van. Is that distraction that of public is. property? No, no, no. I mean, why, why would you get that kind of conduct? Interference. Yes, why would you get that kind of conduct? You see, let us be very careful here. Defacing, Demonstration defacing posters. Of, of posters and all. Yes, why, why? Demonstrations are lawful. Nobody can, can stop it in Ghana. Not under, under this administration, not even under NDC. Mm. Okay? But it has to be lawful demonstration. Now, again, any, 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 part, any person taking part in a special event shall obey the direction of the police officers, safeguarding the proper movement of other persons and vehicles and you know, to maintain what? Order. Mm -hmm. I'm I saw some of the videos, some of the people were trying to enter the same military hospital, and they are used roadblocks to block the access. Are you saying because of the demonstration? Somebody cannot go to the hospital to attend to his medical needs. There were hundreds of police officers there. Roxing is asking, couldn't they have, you know, overcome that? Something, something. Is it even proper? Is it even right in the first place that you want to engage in demonstration and you set out to block public access with these kind of stones and 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 and, 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 and woods? Could is it proper? Is it proper? Is it proper? Is it proper? You see, you are going to demonstrate to air your grievances against what is happening. Go and do peaceful demonstrations. So let's like distinguish between peaceful demonstrations and people use the demonstration as a catalyst, as a cloak, okay, to, to cause mayhem, mm. to cause destruction. That is my, 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 my difficulty. And something, I am saying, I want to say it again. Demonstrations has to be lawful. Nobody can do the more in Ghana. Why? Why is it we're in the university? Mobile was struggle and all those things. We took part of it. Okay? But the fact that... What do, you, what do you say to two people who were kept beyond 48 hours? Do you think the police could have by themselves granted bail to the people they arrested rather than wait for... Some of them did 48 hours, some of them did... Uh, two of them, they are, we are them, they're telling us did more did, than 48. I don't get the question. Some of them were kept beyond 48 hours? Yes. Two. Two of them. That's according to the police. They say two. Was there a reason that they prefer for keeping them beyond 48 hours? They say, constitutionally, they say police officers... Yes are responsible for that, and those police officers who are responsible for that lapse 
uh, have been referred to PIPs for punishment. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, well, I, I think that one, I mean, I, mm. I think it's the right thing. I mean, if you arrest somebody, he may, he, even the mere arrest is a kete, or especially liberty. Okay. And I remember there were times when we are trying to go and get bail, even at BNI and other places. Yeah, I remember. You, go, you, just, you just sit down. I, I remember this. <laughs> you sit down. You sit uh, down. I, I, I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but we have run out you of know, time. So My guests who have been on this show have been uh, Roxanne Nielsen, Dafia Amarpo, uh, Gary Nima Komafo, uh, Kofia Samoa Siao, and Bernard Ambateyala Mona. Earlier, you also had uh, Dr. Uh, Bosman Asari of the Electoral Commission. He's a deputy chairperson in charge of corporate services. And my outfit, as always, is by uh, Konati Clothing. You can find them at Adenta Shopping Center, Adenta Down. You can call them 244 676732 Tomorrow, 2 p.m., join me on the law to hear myself, the CJ, a judge, and the Judicial Service Staff Association president on their role in securing peaceful elections. Have a good afternoon. I'm Samson Ladia Yanini. <laughs>